Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness in the last episode. Um, uh, well, we, we... We got mauled by Zook. One, but we got mauled by Zook. Um, and we don't have our snag machine, which is still rather annoying. Okay, um, we're gonna keep doing some uh, challenges here at the Pyrite Coliseum. There's four altogether we can do, so let's enter the third one now. And, uh, we'll try and get Callie up to level 27 for the time being. Callie is kind of falling behind when it comes to attacks. I mean, Nura's got Sludge Bomb, Grass Joe has Brick Break, Houndoom's got... Sorry, Chancellor Houndoom. It's got to give him its full title. Um, has Flamethrower now. Uh, Ralf... Uh, no, 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 Jade has got Psychic. Um, I mean, okay... Sean needs Thunderbolts as soon as possible. We need a good water move as well. Because water, water Gun's just not cutting it anymore. With this team. Speaking of not cutting it, Water Gun wouldn't work here anyway. Roselia and Wingull. Okay. Also, two Pokemon the Grass Joe can't deal with very well either. Oh, good! Well, that doesn't mean the Grass Joe's not going to give it a shot. Oh, no. Callie can deal with Roselia with Ice Beam. Okay. I guess I'll go for a brick break on Wingull, see how much damage it does. Go on, Grass Joe! Punch him in the knees! Or the face. That'll do! <laughs> Not very effective, still kills it! That's how cool Grass Joe is. That's how good Grass Joe is. Ah, that's something we can deal with! Go on, Rhyhorn! Hello, my friend! Okay. Let's get an Ice Beam off. It's good. Okay, so Callie's not falling uh, as behind as Sean is. Sean's doing a hell of a lot worse because Sean hasn't got Thunderbolt yet. Callie's up level 27, though. That's all good. There you go. Eh, not bad. Not bad. Obviously, that that attack or that um, stat is just insane. Ah, uh, yeah. Screw it, Mega Drain. Ooh, Protect. That's just going to stall out. You're literally just stalling now, Rhyhorn. I have two Pokemon that do... Um, Quad effective damage on you. Do you really think that you're going to last long? Nope. Grass Joe will see to that himself. Alright, first opponent down. Brilliant. More experience there for Kali. Grass Joe's going to be up to level 28 in no time. Also, it's nice to do a bit of training here, because, yeah, we did get kind of floored by Zook, didn't we? So, a bit of training never hurt anybody. Yes, your three Pokemon that you had, all defeated in technically one move. Alright, Colsey in battle two are against Ostix. Now, 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 now. Let's get started. Indeed, let's get started, Ostix. Bring it on. What do you got? Centric and Smiggle. Well, two Pokemon that can be absolutely destroyed by Grass Joe. It's a good thing I've got Grass Joe in the team here, isn't it? And the and the top two, because Grass Joe's awesome. Right, Smiggle's probably bulkier. Uh, so let's go for an Ice Beam on Centret, and I'm going to Brick Break the Smeagle. Ooh, follow me! Okay, Smeagle became the center of attention. Grass Joe is still faster though, so you were going to get punched in the face anyway. So, um, yeah, that worked well for you, Smeagle. Literally just a punching bag, are you? Fair enough. Ooh, Skitty. Okay. All normal team, have you? Okay, let's see how Callie does with this Ice Beam. See how much damage this will do. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. So follow me still makes um, the Pokemon on that side the center of attention. Even though it's um, also crash. Ouch. Uh, yeah, even though that Pokemon was defeated. Okay. Weird mechanics, but fair enough. Always left to center it. Center it used assist, which got crash. I'm guessing her strategy is probably because her Smeagol's probably got some really good moves. And maybe her other Pokemon have got assist? Who knows? Anyway, with that, second trainer down. Second trainer defeated. Ostix down and defeated as well. Grass Joe jumping around like nuts. Oh, how could you? How could you be so awful to my adorable Pokemon? I wouldn't say Smeagol's adorable, would, would you? Not really. Semi-final! Against Tarbill. There's no weak spots in the way I battle. So you've got a team of nothing but Sableye, then. I'm guessing. Nope! You've got a Pokemon that's weak to Dark, and you've got a Pokemon that is weak to Grass. So yes, you do have weak spots in your team. Weak spots that I am only so happy to exploit. 
Okay, Callie, uh, I would like for you to nom down on the Spoink. And might also go for the Mega Drain on the Tripinch. Ooh, you withdrew Spoink. For Spinder. You actually withdrew a Pokemon. I'm shocked. That does mean you waste that turn, though. And Trapinch is dead anyway, so... Not really sure how much that really helped you. Because you're going to have to bring it back out now anyway. Now I can bike down on it with Callie. Depends on how much damage Callie does here, actually. Counter. Okay. Um, if hit with a physical attack, that turn deals double damage back. No. No. Sorry, Grass Joe. You need a better grass move, not counter. Right, Spoik's back out now. Let's see, how, let's see how, what we can do with this bite. Yeah, half damage. I'll take it, I guess. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I kind of want that Spoik gone. So I'll just go for the Mutt Punch. Just to make sure that we're faster. Mutt Punch! There you go, nice. It's good to have priority moves. Especially something like Mutt Punch, which is a really good priority move. Especially with Grass Joe. Alright, Callie, can you take out this Spoink? It is a bit bulky. Yeah, no you can't. You need better moves, Callie. Swagger. Okay, the other Pokemon can kill you. <laughs> Callie's attack sharply rose, which is kind of pointless to Callie, but never mind. I I'm just going to go for priority moves just to screw you over. Mutt Punch! There you go. You lose! Okay, more experience there for Callie. Callie's gonna get up to level 28 as well here. Pretty good. Well, maybe. It depends on what the last battle's. It depends on what Pokemon the last guy's got. <sighs> you exposed all my weaknesses. Yeah, yeah, I did. Good for withdrawing out your, um, your Spoink, though, because I was gonna hit it with a big attack. Pyrite Coliseum final. Who are we against? Tebu. Hey, Punk! The battle's not started, but you're already shaking. Uh, no. <clears throat> Honestly, can't be bothered to trash talk you, mate. You have a Snubble and a Hitmontop. Well, I know exactly what I'm doing here. Game, I don't have a Jada out for this, but never mind. Cali will do just fine. And uh, that Snubble, that Snubble can go get punched in the face. Okay, that's annoying, though. Oh! Double Intimidate. Okay. Right, well, okay, you attack Hip on top. You try and beat Snubble even with minus two? It's an ask. You did! That's how good Grass Joe is! You did it anyway. Grass Joe doesn't care. Who's next? Stamp? Look, let me guess. That's got Intimidate as well. Yeah. Okay, so you, you're essentially just an Intimidate uh, spammer, are you? Fair enough. Doesn't work on uh, Cali, though. Ooh, he's gonna use Rock Smash to do bugger all damage to Callie, because Callie is a wall. Uh, Callie, yep, keep going with him on top, and uh, Brick Break the Sand. With minus three! Ooh, close. Close, indeed. Alright, Water Gun. I'll get you down to uh, well below a third. Astonish, that's not gonna do much at all. Even to Grass Joe. Rashio doesn't give a crap. Rock smash again. Ooh, this time hits Grass Joe. And, uh, yep, here comes Leftovers. Right, um, yeah. Yeah, we're finishing this now. <laughs> Mutt Punch, go! Yeah. Take that, Stantler, you fool. You reindeer fool. Good experience there. Callie nearly up to... I think Callie's gonna get the 28 here. Hit on top's gonna have a lot of experience, I think. Simply because it's a fully evolved Pokemon. That's going to be a fair amount of experience. Yep, enough to get Callie to level 28. Brilliant. Yeah, good stats across the board there for Callie. Grass Joe, halfway to 29. So we really need to get Grass Joe out of there. Because Grass Joe really doesn't need it right now. Try to intimidate you before the match didn't work, I guess. No, it didn't. You are an idiot and a fool. All in one. Anyway, victory for us in our third Colosseum battle there. Not bad. Congratulations for winning your challenge. What a marvelous run of battles. Here's your prize money of 2,880 Poké Dollars. And there's another prize. We also present you with this TM41. Yay. 
I guess. Yeah, the TMs here bar Brick Break aren't the best, because that's Torment. Prevents the target from using the same move in a row. Not the best, really. Okay, so let's bring in some new people. Let's bring in Chancellor uh, and Jada for this one. There we go. Uh, how's Nero doing? Eh, Nero's quite close to the next level. Okay, we'll do the next one. We are about halfway through here, so we'll do the next one. We'll go back here. Go. Walk faster, damn it! I want to get a little bit more done after these battles. I'm not doing like another bloody nearly 30 minutes part. Sit back and have a good look at my elegant aerial battle. Okay, Celis. Let's see what you can do. Ah, you got Swabbly and Torchic. Okay. I can't really deal with those incredibly well, but I'll give it a shot. Alright, Chancellor and Jada. Let's do this. Let's do this and wreck some fools. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's flamethrower the Swablu and psychic the Torchic. <coughs> Come on, Chancellor! Burn it! Burn it now! Yeah, Swablu does not get the dragon typing until it evolves, so... Yeah, that's why I did that. Just to get Swablu out of the way. Because Torchic... Torchic's not too bad, really, to go up against. Taylo! Oh, well, that's going to get shockwaved in the face, isn't it? Go on, Jada! Twirling towards victory! A bow as Torchic dies. Very nice. Okay. More experience there. Chance is going to get very close, I think. Ooh, Natsu. Well, I know exactly what I'm doing this round, really, don't I? Right, nom the Natsu. And shockwave the Taylo. Chancellor goes first, because Chancellor is fast as hell! Noms! Chancellor's only really fast because you just wanted to eat the bird. You want to eat that bird! Like Wily Coyote and Roadrunner, only this time the Coyote wins! Even though Chancellor Houndour is not... Or Chancellor Houndou is not a, um... Not a Coyote. He's a dog. Specifically a Hound, hence the name. But regardless! Here comes Shockwave! Should one-shot Taylor. Yeah, it does. Good! Good. It's good to know that. But still, can't wait for you to bleed and evolve, Jada. Really, you and, uh, well, obviously Grimer as well, but less so Grimer. But yeah, you and, you and Sean. You and Sean just really need to evolve as quick as you can. So, just so you can be much better uses on the team. Right, Battle 2 in Pirate Coliseum here. A sphere's the perfect shape, don't you agree? Oh, please tell me this guy's not got bleeding Voltorb and Electrodes. No, he's got... But he does have circular Pokemon. Sveal and Marrow. Okay, Chancellor's not looking too good here. That's fine. Chancellor can go against anybody. Anyone. Alright, you attack Sveal. You shockwave Marrow. Let's do a bit of this. Might get the flinch off if this doesn't kill it. Wait, ooh. Which it didn't. Didn't kill. Got close, though. Alright, shockwave time on Meryl! Meryl! You're dead now. Don't be in that position like you're trying to paint me like one of your French girls. Don't do that! What's next? Jiggly, Jigglypuff. Alright, that's fine. I can burn that. Ooh, roll out. What are you aiming for? Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense for you to go for the Chancellor. That's fine. Uh, burn this Jigglypuff, and then I guess I'll psychic the Sveal. Why not? Go on, burn it! Burn the puffball! Burn it now! This is for all the annoying times in melee, you fool! Nice. Chance is gonna get level 28 here, I think. That's quite good. Jada, a little bit lacking, but still going well. Goodbye, Sveal. Alright, two down. I hate seeing that. Sveal's adorable. I hate seeing that. Uh, chances up level 28 though. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. More speed for the Speed King. And, um, yeah, Jada. Jada with some lovely experience then. We defeated. Oh, I didn't even notice your name. Mythis? It's it, Mephis. Mythis. I don't know. Seriously, you were going about spherical Pokemon but did not have Voltorb or Electrode? 
You're not the true spherical master, you complete cretin. Right, Tiruk. Tiruk. You would like to battle in the semi-finals. Well, would you? Yes. Gulpin and Apom. Well, Gulpin's dead. We know that much. Apom. Well, we'll see how we'll, we'll see how good it burns, shall we? With a good old Chancellor Hound. Okay, Burnation on Apom and Psychic on Gulpin. That'll probably knock out Gulpin. I know Gulpin's very bulky, but you know. I don't think that it really has the capabilities to not get knocked out by Jada Psychic here. Right, nice experience there for Chancellor. Good for Jada too. Jada's very close, level 28. Doduo! That can get burnt. Depends on what his last Pokemon is, actually, I guess. Anyway, Jada! Let's go for some lovely twirling and psychic action on Gulpin! Yes! Goodbye! Open your mouth and die! Gulpin! Yeah, Jade is going to get to the next level in this battle. Nice. Ooh, Corsola. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, uh, we'll burn the Doduo, and then we'll Shockwave the Corsola. Go. First off, Burnination, obviously. Flamethrower. Literal Flamethrower. And Doduo is gone. My team is powerful. I like my team. I'm probably not going to make any more changes to this team. This is going to be the team I'm going to roll with for the rest of the game, I think. You do get some really, really good Shadow Pokemon later, though. I'm not going to spoil what, but you get some really good Shadow Pokemon later. Uh, but I don't really want to... I, I like the team at the moment, and I think... I'm not... I, I'm probably not going to have uh, a new member of the team, honestly, after this. I mean, I might do. Depends on if there's something that really takes my fancy. But for the time being... No, I think uh, Nero was the last sort of upgrade to the team. Right, well with that, you have been defeated. Tiruk. 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 You rucked up, didn't you? Yep, you lost that one. Right, the finals. Quickly, the final. Foss. If you beat me, then you're the champ. However, that possibly possibility doesn't exist. Ooh, seems confident, don't, aren't you, Foss? Seem confident. Really? You, you've got Kavana on your team. I mean, yeah, you've got Bagon as well, I guess, but... You do have something that pretty much negates Chancellor completely, so I'll give you that. Um, it still doesn't mean I'm going to try, though. Okay, let's shot with the Kavana. And we'll numb the Bagon. Try and get a flinch off. Because I don't think this is going to knock it out. Oh, it did! Never mind, Chancellor is awesome. Should have known this from day one. We did know this from day one, but still. Ooh, Lava Tart. Alright. That could cause problems. Let's go for a Shockwave. On that Carvana. See if we can possibly one-hit that as well. That'd be lovely right now. Yes! Nice. Nice indeed. Was very good. Was, was good. So this is what a winning feels like. Feels good. Oh, yeah. Well, that doesn't really affect us, really, does it? Okay. Uh, burn that. Then we'll go for that. I'm fairly certain Larvitar's not Dark Type. I'm fairly certain it's not Dark Type. I hope it's not Dark Type, or I. I'm gonna have to have another round of this. I'm fairly certain it's not Dark Type. It's not Dark Type. There you go. Rock and ground, isn't it? I think. And then it goes to Pupitar, and then Lava, and then Tyranitar gets the Dark Attribute. Anyway, you're gone. Good. Oh, try to try to. Do you know how many Pokemon there are now? So many. You got to try to remember all these bleeding types and everything. Like, apologies. I have. I do not have Google. Uh, while I'm doing this Let's Play. I don't have that, so I've got to try and do it off mind. So to anyone who's trying to correct me in this shit... Stop. Kind of. Anyway, TM05. Actually, don't stop, honestly. It's, uh, if I do mess up, then yeah, it's, it's a good thing. But, uh, don't just do it every bleeding episode. Jeez, I've had so many Let's Plays of Pokemon. I've done over 20. Pokemon Let's Plays. And geez, there's always one. 
All right. Um. Yeah. Raw. Um. Savage Raw that swaps the target out of battle. Yeah. But anyway, those are the four. Those are the Pyrite uh, Colosseum battles. So we got some experience there, which is quite nice. Uh, we'll put Nira and Sean up front, I think, because they're the lowest levels so far. So we'll do that. Um, I am actually going to go back to the ONBS because I didn't speak to the person I was supposed to please speak to. So we'll do that quickly, and then I believe we will... Yeah, we'll probably go for a break, I think. You alright? You alright, Meg? Okay. Just go and do this quickly. And then we'll, then we'll pop for a break. Okay. You alright, mate? Alright, sec. Master, I'm glad you're here. I've been waiting for you. Huh? What happened to your left arm? Weren't you wearing the snag machine on it? Master, explain what happened. I see. It was Team Snagum's doing. It's not surprising that they wanted your snag machine. Up to five years ago, Team Snagum were, was in a perfect partnership with Cypher. When they lost their snag machine, Cypher gave them up as a lost cause. I thought Team Snagum just folded after that. They must have spotted your snag machine somewhere. Oh, my. I'll start investigating Team Snagum right away. I'll let you know as soon as we discover anything. Alright, I completely forgot about this email message I received. You see, ONBS got contacted by someone who claimed to have fled from Cypher's base. We debated sending out a news team immediately, but there's no guarantee that it won't be a trap or another risky... Um, yeah, another risky situation. I hate to impose, but could you go and investigate for us, Master? Yeah, sure, I guess. Why not? Thank you. We know that you can be trust entrusted uh, with this, Master. The man who contacted us is named Hordell. He said he would be at the Outskirt Island. The Outskirt Island is to the east of Fenark City. You can't miss it. We're depending on you. We'll investigate Team Snagham while you're gone. Cheers for that! Yeah, Outskirt Stand's now available! Hurrah! Good old Outskirt Stand! Alright, well let's get let's get the hell out of here then. Nice. Yeah. Still not sure when to do the bond slide bit. Honestly, because that can get pretty annoying. Alright, well. Ooh, just keep walking. Keep walking, keep walking. Do not want to battle any of you. Because I don't need to. Also, my Pokemon are way too high level for you now. We just blaze through the Pyrite Colosseum battles like they were nothing. Because they were nothing. But we got some nice levels out of it, at least. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go for a break here. But in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, I guess we're going back to the outskirts stand. I'll see you then.